everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing October's TBR to be rolled. So, in the month of October, we actually have Arctober going on as a sort of readathon. From my understanding, it is through the entire month of October, and so I'm actually going to be focusing on ARCs, advanced reader copies, throughout the entire month of October. So this is a readathon that is actually hosted by seven different hosts. I will leave all of their stuff linked down below. Um, and I'm not going to be doing the bingo boards today, mostly because we're going to be rolling for the prompts like we always do. And I don't want to try and like force myself to pick books that fit the bingo boards, and yes, there are multiple bingo boards, we'll get into that in just a second. Um, I just wanna pick arcs based on the roles that we have and then see if they do fit into bingo boards. Uh, but they actually have three different choices for us. We have an easy bingo board, which is three by three. We have a medium bingo board, which is four by four. And then they have a hard bingo board, which is five by five. So obviously with bingos, you wanna try and get a row either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally um, filled in. And so that is going to be my main goal. However, I just don't want to like pre-pick what board I'm going for or what bingo I'm going for. I just want to pick the books that I want to read in the month or that I'm going to have to read in the month and then we'll fill them out as we go. But I did also want to go through and just sort of review last month's books our game, what we did. So last month was Bookopoly, Bookopolathon. Um, I rolled five times for my game and then I ended up having to do two extra rolls for the actual Bookopoly board. So far I've read three out of the five that I was supposed to read. I did read The Duke Who Didn't by Courtney Milan. I also read the first volume of Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn and I read The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. So I do still have two books left to read. I'm filming this on a weekend, which means we actually almost have a whole week left in the month. Not completely, but almost. I have to film these early just because I only have really the weekends to do good filming time for this kind of stuff. So I might get another book in. I'm hoping to get at least one more book in. We shall see though. So we are gonna be doing our five rolls for this month in October. However, because it is Arctober, I'm planning on picking only arcs to read this month. Um, so this is a readathon that's supposed to be helping people finish up some NetGalley arcs. I mean, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be NetGalley, but I do feel like a lot of people on BookTube, that's the main place for getting your arcs. And for me, that is the main place I get mine as well. It's just easier to do that. Publishers aren't necessarily always sending out physical arcs, that kind of thing. And currently, I'm actually at 77% on NetGalley, and they want you to be at like 80% or better. So like, I'm super, super close. Like, I'm really, really hoping to get to 80% by the end of October, because I think that would be perfect. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do five rolls. This is our dice in case people are new to this channel. I will also leave the playlist for these videos linked down below. But basically we pick my TBR based on the color that pops up on this die. So red means somebody else is gonna pick my book. We're gonna pick a card and that's going to determine who it is, like my son or my husband, a friend, etc. cetera. Uh, orange is the TBR bucket. I am changing it up a little bit this month. If we get an orange, I actually filled out papers to put in this so it's not a full TBR bucket because I have a huge one uh, but it has not been updated in a while and I recently did an unhaul so it is really out of date um, but this one is only full of arc titles so I have some papers in there and if we get an orange we're actually going to pick from that one so I can guarantee that I'm getting an arc. Uh, yellow is going to be cards that have to deal with genre or age grouping, that kind of thing. Um, we also have green, which is more cards, but these are gonna be more like challenge cards. I'm very curious if these pop up, how that's gonna help me pick an arc or not. Uh, blue, here we are, is gonna be a poll pick. That is where you guys help me pick which one I'm going to read for the month. And then purple is a wild card. If this pops up, I will pick any other color on the die and that is what we're going to do. So, I think that is about it. We're gonna jump into the rolls and see what we get. Okay, roll number 
One. Let's see what we get. Oh, what color? What color is that? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, so roll number one was a yellow. So that means we need to pick a yellow card. Are you gonna help me? Yeah, are you gonna help me? Yeah. Okay. So Presley usually helps me pick these cards and he's going to again, but because we are now in a different filming location for these videos, because my TBR is now out here in the library instead of in the downstairs bedroom because we are shifting things around in my house, my parents are moving in with us, um, I had to move everything out. So because of that, I'm standing currently. So um, I'm gonna need to pick this kid up. Okay, here we go. Here's the cards. Oh, oh, we're gonna get everybody. <laughs> Elliot, you gonna pick a card too? Hi. Oh, there we go, show the camera. An adult book, okay. Pick a one yellow card. You did pick a one yellow card, good job. Okay, so one thing I will preface this entire video with saying, and I probably should have said it earlier, but I didn't. I have been very good about my arcs in general. Like I said, I'm at 77% when they really want you to be around 80. Like, I'm so, so close. However, I got a little off track near the end of my pregnancy and having a newborn. She is going to be three months by the time you see this video, I think. Um, and so it is just one of those things where I got off track. So I have some arcs that are coming up, but I also have some arcs that I'm a little bit behind on, and so I'm trying to determine how I want to actually prioritize these, but because we got the adult card, I think what I'm going to do is I have a book that is actually supposed to be coming out like on the 4th of October. I'm very, very excited for it, so I think that is what we're going to pick. And it's going to be Loot by Jennifer Marie Thorne. This is going to be a horror published by Tor Nightfire. And from my understanding, it is Wicker Man meets Final Destination. There's like this island where like it's very idyllic, nothing bad happens. Um, but every seven years, I'm pretty sure it is, seven people are basically like sacrificed to this place. Um, it's called like the day and our main character has been like married into this family on this island um, and does not believe that this is a real thing thinks it's very like a superstitious sort of thing and is going to realize that like it's not I don't know but we're getting into the spooky season it is supposed to be spooky and so I think that's gonna be our first choice okay roll number two, two. Okay, roll number two was a red, which means we have more cards to pick. However, these are going to determine who else is going to pick a book on my TBR. Okay, so again, because we have cards, Presley is going to help us. Okay, red cards. You gonna pick one? Show the camera. Okay, so he picked viewer pick. However, because I'm doing arcs, I don't have a video about all of my arcs that you guys commented on, so we're gonna skip that one and pick another one. Pick another one. That one? Okay, this one will work a little bit better. Show the camera. Okay, my husband's gonna pick a book. What I can do is give you, I have a shelf on Bookly of like all my arcs that I have to read. Um, I've already picked one technically which is this one loot but basically you can just go through and there's only covers so there's only covers he's not really gonna know what these books are about unless he wants to ask me what they're about but you can go through and just pick a uh, a book that way he's behind the camera right now holding Elliot so <laughs> I'm holding this so he can uh, scroll through Try to be nice to me. Try not to pick anything that looks like it might be a long book. Although I know you probably have no idea. Pick something fun. Let's just do that. Pick something fun, please. Mm -hmm. This one? Okay. <laughs> Under the Whispering Door. That sounds spooky. spooky, right? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily spooky, but it is about somebody who's died. Okay. But I think it's supposed to also be like very heartwarming. Like he ends up going to this like cafe. I'm pretty sure. 
And I do actually have a physical copy of this book because I've read some other TJ Klune stuff and really, really enjoyed it. And this is an Illumicrate special edition that I definitely bought. But this is an ARC for a book that came out last year, technically. So this is actually one of the older ones on my TBR that I've been wanting to read and I just did not get to it last year. Oh, we have Elliot. <laughs> so this will be one that I can read as a physical book or as an ebook because I do have the ARC version as well as the book that I purchased. Um, and like he said, he feels like it should potentially be spooky because of the title. And I mean, technically it does start after the main character has died. So we shall see. Roll number three. Okay, and so for roll number three, we got a blue, which means I'm gonna pick a couple things, probably just like two, maybe. That seems to be a little bit easier for you guys to choose from. Two books that are arcs, obviously, that you will then have to choose which one I'm going to read. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is pick two. Uh, I said two earlier. I changed my mind, I'm gonna pick three. Basically because they're all adult sci-fi or sci-fi romance. One of them has not come out yet. Two of them have, but I'm not like super late on them. Um, and we'll let you guys choose what we're gonna pick. So let's just go from like oldest to newest. So the first one that I have not read yet, obviously, is Fault Tolerance by Valerie Valdez. This is the third book in the Chilling Effect series, which reminds me a lot of like Mass Effect. Um, it is sci-fi with some romance. Like, it's not like a sci-fi romance. Cat. Cat? Twice. Like, it is not a sci-fi romance specifically, um, but it does have some romance in there. They basically are going on quests and missions, and it is in space. The second book ended on a cliffhanger, so I'm very curious where this third book is going to go. Um, but the first book was about our main character who is like the captain of the space vessel and her you know found family crew trying to rescue her sister from the fridge which is like a crime syndicate um and then there are psychic cats because there's actually quite a few cats on this cover they had like one or two on the first cover a little bit more on the second one and now like a ton on this one and so yeah, third book in a series that I have been enjoying, so I would like to get to this one. The second option is Barbarian Mind by Ruby Dixon. This is the fourth book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. This is sci-fi romance, um, and this one I've been enjoying. I read the first three books last year, I think potentially, have rated them all like four, four and a half stars. And so this is the newest one in the special edition books so like from Berkeley because obviously the series has been out for a while these books have been out for a while um but yeah I was able to receive this new one as an arc it's only been out for a little less than two weeks as of filming and I just have not gotten around to it um <laughs> but I definitely want to and then the last one I have here is Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell this is also sort of a sequel but not really it is in the same world as Winter's Orbit which I read this year absolutely loved one of my top books of 2022 I will already tell you that um, and this is going to be again sci-fi with some romance it is going to be LGBTQ as well um, there is something about mind control or being able to read minds and like war and conspiracies and stuff going on I'm very very curious about this one because I love the first one so much and this one actually does not come out until november 1st which means i do need to read it in october anyway if i want to get back on track with my arcs so yeah those are your three choices i will have the poll up the day that this video goes up as well both on instagram and twitter i will leave them linked down below roll number four Okay, roll number four was purple, which means I get to pick what other color we're going to use to pick a book. I feel like I want to do green because I like the cards and I'm very curious again how these sort of like challenge cards are going to help me pick an arc. So, hey, are you ready to pick another card for me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, last one, green. Pick yellow, red, and green. You are picking one of each. Come here. Okay, green cards. Oh, K. 
Okay, I don't know if this is going to work for an arc. Something with an adaption. I don't think any of these have been adapted, so we're gonna skip that one for now. Let's see. Pick another one. Yep. Okay, initial. We're gonna see if this works. So this is basically an author has to share an initial with me. Uh, so either a C or a Z. I don't know if we have that. Let's see what we got. Okay, I see one that I'm going to say actually really, really works. Uh, and I will explain why. Uh, we have The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gold. So obviously Chelsea, Courtney, C, and C, but their last name is Gold, which starts with a G, and my maiden name is Greer and starts with a G. So this actually fits really, really well. This is another one that technically came out last year and I got behind on, so we're gonna get some of these backlist arcs out, it looks like. Um, and it looks like it's also potentially gonna be spooky. I can't remember fully what this one is about, um, but it's the dead in the dark, and I think there might be some sort of like paranormal or ghosty element. We shall see. And roll number five. Five. Ready? Ready? Yeah. What color? Purple. Purple. Okay, and then roll number five was also a purple. So for this one, I'm gonna pick orange because I did all the work of making a separate little TBR jar for this video and we have not gotten to use it yet. So we're going to see, I'm gonna shake it, see what random arc we get. Hopefully not one of the ones we've already picked because we've already picked some. Okay, reaching in. Okay, I picked one out. We have, oh, okay. Activation, degradation, if you guys can see it, is it gonna focus? Maybe not. Uh, but this one is another one that came out last year. Apparently we're not getting to any of my arcs that are like coming up. Really, we're getting to the ones that I should have done before and I didn't. Uh, this one is by Marina J. Lostetter and it is going to be sci-fi. I think just plain sci-fi. It has some sort of either robot or AI or something like that. I'm excited because I do like sci-fi, so that is going to be that one. I'm going to be trying to do more arcs in the month if we can, especially because, like I said before, I have a couple things that are going to be coming up soon um, that I do need to get to if I can, and then I have some other ones that I missed at the beginning of, not the beginning of this year, near the end of my pregnancy, so like around April, May, June, that kind of thing. Um, that are not as far in the past as last year, like some of the ones we picked. Um, but those are gonna be the ones we're doing. Um, so, we have Loot, we have Under the Whispering Door, we have The Dead in the Dark, and we have Activation Degradation, plus whatever you guys are gonna pick for the poll pick. And I think that's gonna be a pretty good rounding out of ARC stuff. I'm very excited. Um, and if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos up currently on Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye.